moving on to our topic in between i must tell you about a learning platform that is the an academy you can boost up your preparations for the various competitive examinations with the help of the an academy you can join the an academy plus subscription as well as the iconic subscription for various exams like the gate excel gate by technology and the gate esc as well as the csir net exam they also conduct the all india mock test exams for the gate 2020 from Uh, for every Sunday from January two to January thirty, you can enroll for this particular mock test for various exams and for the gate aspirants, the link uh, for the enrollment I will give in the description. At an academy, you can clear all your doubts at a live time. You can raise a hand in between a class, or you can talk to your educator in a live class by raising a hand. So it will create a classroom-like environment on the platform on the online platform also. those who want to join the an academy subscription there is an republic day special plan that is the 6 months free extension on the plans of the one year as well as the above plans if you want to join the an academy and you are getting the subscription for one year you will be getting the 6 months free extension it means ek saal ka the subscription hai usi mein aapko 1.5 years ka subscription milega that means 6 months free and that offer is also applicable to the one year above plan if you buy the plan for the two year also then also you are going to get the Six months free extension. So if you are preparing for the CSIR NET as well as the GATE ES Engineering Service examinations, that will be a beneficial offer for you. It is only applicable from twenty fifth of January to the twenty seventh of the January. You can get the subscription and ten percent discount on the subscription fee by using my code YG ten. The link for the CSIR NET subscription as well as the GATE EC subscription I have given in the description of the video. So let's just start with the topic. Hello everyone welcome to the YouTube channel Botany for all in today's video we are going to discuss about a topic that is the type concept or which is also called the type method this topic is particularly from the plant systematics or plant taxonomy in the plant systematics or the taxonomy we particularly deals with the naming that is uh, governing the names of any plant particularly or classification or the description of the plants Taxonomy or systematics is an art which mainly deals with the naming. All the taxonomy is just not limited to the botany. It deals with the naming of all the organisms, whether they are plants as well as the animals or even the virus or the bacteria. So taxonomy is a general word. When I talk about the plant taxonomy, so then uh, we only we are giving a reference to the plants particularly. So in the plant taxonomy, we mainly deals with the naming of different plants. their description and their classification classification means giving them a particular systematic position whether they are of, from the same genus or whether they belongs to the same species any of the plant uh, included in which family uh, what is the division of that plant whether it is a algae or it is a bryophyte all these things uh, is called classification and it is the main branch of plant taxonomy so during all these steps the naming description classification or any other thing there are several rules or principles that we follow okay there is a governing body which is called the icn the international council of nomenclature for algae fungi and plants prior to the 2012 it was called icbn international code of botanical nomenclature but nowadays it is called icn that is international code of nomenclature for algae fungi and plants so there are many principles and set of procedures along with some rules okay for the naming description and classification of the plants so among all those rules there is one uh, rule that we are going to discuss today that is the type concept or the type method so in terms of the taxonomic classification there are different ranks a particular taxonomic rank is called a taxon okay in a classification system for example if i write the species the genus okay the family the order the class the division okay or called the phylum in the animal kingdom and the kingdom so all of these particular rank okay so suppose order order is a particular rank and it is called the taxon order is an taxon similarly the family which is a rank it, it it is also a taxon okay so the names of the different taxonomic groups or the different taxons are particularly based upon the type specimen among all the ranks or among all the taxon okay 
द मेन टेक्सॉन विच इज फैमिली ओके पर्टिकुलरली और मेनली द टेक्सोनॉमिक रैंक फैमिली द नेम ऑफ दिस टेक्सोनॉमिक रैंक दैट इज द फैमिली इज बेस्ड अपॉन अ टाइप स्पेसिमेन so if a, if i talk about a type specimen so type specimen is a specimen or any of the material upon which the name of any taxonomic group is attached or based so if i talk about the type specimen it is a specimen upon which the name of any taxonomic rank or the taxon when i say any taxonomic rank it particularly refers to the family rank although it is not limited to the family but mainly it is uh, based upon the taxonomic rank that is the family the names of the family like rogiaceae okay like poaceae these are based upon their type specimen necessarily this type specimen should not be only a plant this type specimen is not only a plant although mostly it is plant but it may be a picture it may be a description only or any information only okay so along with the uh, original plant material rather it would be a picture as well as any kind of the description or illustration or the information but maximum uh, times it is the plant so an original plant specimen is associated with the name of the taxonomic rank that is the family and that particular specimen is called the type okay this method this method is called typification the assisting of the type specimen with the family or the taxonomic rank family is called typification that original specimen on which the name of family is based is called the type specimen for example the rosa genus is a type specimen of family rogiaceae so i hope battery would be go with the uh, familiar with the type as well as the typification okay so type is just a specimen uh, upon which the name of any family is based not only family the other taxonomic ranks are sometimes also based upon their type specimen but mainly it is applicable to the taxonomic rank that is the family so this is type and typification now this type specimen is of six types that is the holo iso syn para lacto and neotype there is a mnemonics for this that is his plan not plan it's plan h i s p l n that is his plan the first letters of these six so now we are going to discuss them in detail that what are the types of type okay or which is called the type concept and the type method okay so now i'll going to discuss about the different forms or the types of the type specimen so suppose if we are going to name any family uh, very earlier when there was no family or no family name was designated so suppose there are few specimens this one is one specimen another let's say there are eight specimens of any plant they are of same type all are same okay here are the eight plants let's say uh, take it a example for example these are eight rosa plants there is a time when the rosaceae family was not named so we have chosen the rosa plant among all these eight plants that one particular plant upon which the name of the family rosaceae will be based that will be called the holotype for example i will i am taking the fifth plant this one although the remaining plants are actually the same as this fifth plant but one we have to take as we assigned the name of the family with with that particular plant so suppose if i have taken this fifth plant so it would be my holotype okay so the name that we called the rogiaceae okay that that is based upon this specimen and this is a type specimen okay the remaining uh, specimens will also be a type but that will not be a holotype that particular plant that original plant upon which the name of the family was assigned is a specimen type specimen and what kind of the type that is the holotype so it is the actual specimen okay upon which the name of this family is based this is holotype now once we have assigned the holotype the fifth is our holotype so the remaining seven the first second third fourth sixth seventh and eighth are the isotype of 
this fifth or this hollow type okay so listen carefully once when we select the hollow type so the remaining all specimens which are uh, same like the hollow type although the specimens are same first second third fourth sixth seventh eighth all are same all of the eight specimens were same but once we have designated one as the hollow type so remaining will be called the isotype okay the remaining specimens will be called the isotype now let's see what is syntype okay so let's just uh, rewind the things now see if we have not designated the fifth plant as the holotype okay here we are okay once we have not selected any of the plant as a holotype then all of the eight specimens are syn types of each other okay again listen carefully once we have not selected any of the specimen as holotype means we have not selected any uh, one from these all eight so all of these eight specimens are syn types of each other okay when we have not selected the holotype when we have not selected one original specimen then only the all of the specimens will be called their syn types if we select any one of them suppose i have selected the seventh as a holotype so all of the other specimens would uh, rather called the isotype not the syn type so one original material is holotype other remaining are the isotypes of this holotype and if we have not selected the holotype then all of the eight specimens or rather 10 12 whatever be the numbers of specimen available they will be called the syn type when no holotype was selected next one is the para type para means uh, the different okay the other suppose these are the eight specimens okay some particular characters the major or the dominant characters for naming that family are taken from these eight plants okay and there are some other plants there are more two three plants like this okay they are also same let's say these are the a b and c for naming of that particular family these these particular specimens these eight specimens or the similar specimens these are not enough to characterize the name of that family so for naming that family i have taken or the author have taken some characters from these plants also okay suppose rogiaceae the name rogiaceae is not uh, uh, only taken from the rosa plant okay if so if i taken the characters from these three specimens also or from this type of specimens also so it would be called the para type okay para type of what this will it will be para type of these eight specimens so if i have taken the more than one more than one specimen is taken as type so the other the other specimen would be called the para type okay so in the para type case also there will be hollow type isotype as well as the syn type okay but the rather or the other specimen that we have taken will be called the para type so this is a case where uh, one specimen only is not enough to uh, characterize the characters or the names of any particular family okay so it would be para type the other specimen para now talk about the lactotype okay so what is a lactotype lactotype is a, another specimen or another type but in a special case okay what would be the special case for example we have chosen the fifth specimen as a holotype so obviously the first second third fourth sixth seventh and eighth are the isotype of fifth okay if we have not selected the holotype then all of the eight were syn type and if i have taken the another specimen uh, along with these eight specimen that would be the para type so if no if there is no holotype available there may be two cases when the holotype is not available first case if that is destroyed or lost 
okay suppose i have named the rosaceae family and priorly or previously uh, particularly taking a rosa plant that particular plant which i have selected as the holotype if that is lost destroyed okay this is the first case when the holotype is not available second case if i have not marked any of the specimen as the holotype means i have to name the family just upon the number of syntype or the name of syntype again i am repeating the cases first case is when the holotype is destroyed or lost means we have selected the holotype previously second case if the author has not selected any of the specimen as holotype it means all of the specimens were syntype that we have discussed okay so if no holotype is available rather they are destroyed or they are not selected so then we select the holotype then we select the holotype okay when there is no holotype was available then we select the holotype later so later that specimen which is selected will not called the holotype that will be called the lactotype okay let's see in two of the cases if holotype is destroyed we will select the holotype from the remaining isotypes if you have selected the holotype in the previous time and now it is destroyed or lost so we have to select the holotype from the remaining specimen and the remaining specimen are called isotype so if you select new holotype from the isotype that will called the lactotype okay after the uh, destroying or the loss of our original holotype we select the new specimen from the isotype so that new holotype will be called the lactotype not the holo second case if we select the specimen from syntype so if we select this syntype because all of the eight were syntypes it is called lactotype not the syntype so the new holotype which is selected is called the lactotype next one is the neotype neotype is almost similar like the lactotype but there are small differences if none of the material okay in case of the lactotype only the holotype was destroyed we have we are having the isotypes or we are having the syntypes or we are having the para types from which we can select the new holotype which was called the lactotype but in case of the neotype no material is available everything is missing everything is missing okay if our original holotype is destroyed along with that all of the isotypes are destroyed all of the syntypes are destroyed or even the para type is also destroyed or missing then uh, if we select any specimen okay that would be called the neotype selecting the new specimen it would be the same specimen that is available nowadays for example rosa plant is also available nowadays if the original or the uh, specimens which the author has selected they have been destroyed or lost but nowadays rosa is also available so that will be called a neotype because a previous or the earlier specimens were lost or destroyed if there is not a single plant available in this time okay if if i am having no rosa plant these days in the 2021 suppose let's say there is no rosa plant so we have to select any another plant upon which the characters of the family rosaceae is based so we have to choose the another me member of the rosaceae family that we will called the neotype so simply neotype uh, is a type specimen when there is no material is available or everything is missing rather uh, isotype whether syntype or the para type so lacto and neo are same but the difference is that lactotype is a holotype specimen that we select later when the holotype is lost and neotype when there is no specimen available or everything is missing we would select any another specimen that type specimen will be called neotype so these are some six types of the type that is the holotype iso syn para lacto and neo which you can remember by this mnemonics that is the his plan holo iso syn para lacto and neotype Thank you very much. Have a good time.